All right, guys, in the last video, we went ahead and we created our home page markup and the register form, and we have our validation as well. Okay, you can see that the validation works when we set up flash messaging. So now what we want to do is we want to hook up this register form to the backend API. So for that, we're going to need a service. So we're going to go to uh, down to our terminal here and make sure you're in the Angular dash source folder. And we're going to CD into source slash app slash services. And you should already have your validate service there. We did that in the last video. So we want to do ngg service and off. Okay, and that'll create inside services. It'll create auth.service.ts. So let's open that up. Okay, and we'll just run our serve again, ng serve. Okay, and then in the auth service, we're going to go ahead and bring in a couple things. We want to bring in the um, HTTP module. So we'll say import HTTP. We're also going to bring in the headers package. And that's going to be from Angular slash HTTP. Okay, we also want to bring in the map operator because we're working with observables. So let's say import rxjs slash add slash operator slash map. And then what we want to do is we need to import, or not import, but inject the HTTP module into the constructor. So we're going to say private HTTP and set that to capital HTTP. Okay. Now we're going to have a couple properties in this service. So one is going to be for the token. So we're going to say auth token. And I'm just going to set that to the type of any. And then the user which I'll also set to the type of any. Okay, and then we're going to need a function to register the user. And that's going to take in the user object. And this is where we actually reach into our uh, backend API and make that post request to register. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to um, we need to set a header value. So we're going to say let headers and we're going to set that to new headers and we can do that because we brought that in up here and what we want to do is we want to add the content type of JSON so we'll say headers dot append this is how we can add a value to the header and we want to add the content type and we want to set that to application slash JSON Okay, because it's going to be JSON format. Then we want to return an observable with the response. So let's say return this dot HTTP, and it's going to be a post request. So we want to do dot post, and then in here we want the URL, which is going to be our backend. So HTTP localhost 3000 slash users slash register okay that's the endpoint and then we want to pass along uh, the user pass along the data and then for options we want to send the header okay so headers set that to headers now this is an observable so let's get rid of that semicolon and we need to do a dot map and we want to map it to JSON so we just need to do response and we'll set that to res dot JSON Okay, and that should do it. So we should now be able to subscribe to this observable that um, is going to register the user on the back end and then send back um, the data, which will be uh, either success or uh, either success true or success false along with a message. Okay, and we can actually look at, let's take a look at that on the back end. So if we go to our user's route, this is what we're doing. We're making the post request to this register. Okay, uh, it's going to take all of our form fields, put them into new user, and then it's going to run it through our add user function, which is in the model. If everything goes okay, we'll get. Well, I mean, if we get an error, we'll get this. If everything's okay, we'll get that. 
So let's go ahead and make sure you save your service and then we're going to go back to the register component. Okay, we want to go under our validations here. And let's say register, oops. Register user. Okay, so we need to bring in the auth service. So up here, actually, did we bring it in app.module yet? I don't think we did. No, we didn't. So let's bring it into here, just like we did with the validate service. Okay, so we'll say auth service. Set that to services auth.service. And then we just need to put it in the providers auth service and we'll save that and then back to the register component we'll bring it in just like we did with validate okay so that'll be auth and then we need to inject it into our constructor I'm actually gonna put these on multiple lines so it doesn't look as messy Alright, so let's say private auth service and let's set that to auth service. Okay, we need a comma right here. So now we can use that and we're going to go down to here. Um, yeah, make sure you're in the on register submit still. And then we want to use the auth service. So we'll say this dot auth service. And we want to call register user, which is what we just created in the service. Okay, and that's going to get passed in the user object. And since it's a, an observable, we need to subscribe to it. And then inside here, we're going to get the data back. Set that to a code block. And then um, let's do, let's see, so we want to test for the success. So we'll say if data dot success, because remember it's either going to be true or false, and then we'll have an else here. So if the user gets registered, this will run, if not, this will run. So let's send a message. I'm just going to copy this. Okay, because we want a message, so we'll just paste that in. And let's change this. And we'll say, you are now registered. Uh, registered, how do I spell that? And can log in. And we want to change the alert danger to alert success, which will make it green. Okay, so that'll set the message, and then we just want to redirect. Now, to redirect, we need to also bring in the router. So up top here, let's bring in router from Angular slash router. Okay, and then, whoops, what's that? Okay, so then we also have to inject that as well. So right here, let's say private router and set that to router. Okay, so now we should be able to do this dot route dot navigate. Or this, what is it? This dot router dot navigate. Okay, and we want to navigate to, let's see, we're going to pass in brackets and slash uh, let's see. So they're registered, then we want to bring them to the login. And then I'm going to copy this and else. So if this runs, that means that something went wrong. So that's just what I'm going to say. Something went wrong. And change this back to danger. Okay, and then we're going to navigate back to register. All right, so let's save that. And then hopefully we can register a user. 
which will be pretty cool. So let's make sure, let's see, what's this? Register user does not exist on type auth service. Why not? Register user. Okay, oh, so I must have not have saved it or something. All right, so let's go ahead and reload and let's try this out. So I'm gonna register myself, username Brad, pass um, email, just put a fake email in, and password. And submit, awesome, you're now registered and can log in. Okay, now we're not gonna be able to log in yet because we haven't even created the form, but let's check and see if we're actually registered. So in my Mongo shell, I'm gonna say show DBs, and you can see we have a mean auth, so let's say use mean auth, and uh, we should have some test users in there from when we were testing it, but I don't think I did Brad, so let's say db.users.find.pretty. And there's the user right there, Brad. And you can see the password is also encrypted. Okay, so our registration is working. Now I know this was kind of a short video, but I am gonna cut it here because I want just that registration functionality in this video. In the next one, we're gonna to start to create our login form and we will try to authenticate up against the server and get back an access token. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.